Hi guys, it's me Chazra HD and welcome to the incident analysis video for the 2019 Canadian Grand Prix. And of course, there is only one incident we are going to analyse and that's the massively controversial one of the Sebastian Vettel Lewis Hamilton controversy on the exit of Turn 5 that caused Sebastian Vettel to lose the race and get a 5 second penalty. So now, what we're going to do is look at both on boards and look at why it happened and why for me Sebastian Vettel did not deserve a penalty so now we're going to first look at Vettel's on board then we'll go on to Hamilton's later on so at this point Vettel is turning in to turn four but then as he gets to turn four he gets oversteer on the rear and has to try and correct the car from spinning and then you can see right here He's even having to massively correct the car to avoid his car completely spinning out and hitting the barrier on the left. It was a very scary moment for Sebastian Vettel. And by the way, just to clear one thing up, and I do agree, Sebastian Vettel did crack under pressure. He did bottle it. I'm not doubting it. Sebastian Vettel did crack under pressure and did make a critical mistake in the Grand Prix. But for me... That is not why he deserved a penalty. And we're not talking about here how Vettel bottled it. We're talking about, for me, was this a penalty or not? And for me, why it is not? So I just want to clear that up as we now move on to the rest of the video. And now, at this point, you can see Vettel on his steering wheel is turning the car right because he is still trying to keep his car on the circuit without going onto the grass but because the ferrari had so much oversteer through turn four the grip just isn't there and he cannot avoid going onto the grass as he does right here and at this point sebastian vettel of course is at a massive risk of losing the lead of the 2019 canadian grand prix now when vettel comes back on track I want you guys to watch Sebastian's steering wheel because that is very important to why, for me, Vettel is completely innocent in terms of pushing Hamilton off the track and being dangerous with how he re entered the track off the grass. So you can see here, he comes off the grass and is steering right. Now, he's not doing that to block Lewis Hamilton, he's doing that because he has oversteer after coming off the grass because, of course, when a Formula 1 car goes over grass, you don't have grip. They're not lawn mowers, they're Formula 1 cars that are used to tarmac. So that's why he's having to turn right to correct the car, to try and get the car pointed in the right direction. But then, here, you can see quite clearly, he's turning his steering wheel left to try and get going again in the right direction. And for me, this clears up why Sebastian Vettel is not at fault for this incident and why Sebastian Vettel should not have got a penalty because even if you want to try that argument that Vettel deliberately tried to put Hamilton in the wall or tried to block Hamilton, you can see here that he's not doing that because he's turning left, not turning right, where Lewis Hamilton is soon to appear. Now, very quickly after, he does straighten the steering wheel, but that, if you go back and watch the video, is because, again, because he's just come off the grass, the Ferrari car does not have really any grip at this point. So he's trying to correct the car and get it pointed more towards the left so he can get going again. And then again, at this point, where Lewis Hamilton is now on the right of Vettel, up against the wall... Vettel is turning left, not right, he's not squeezing deliberately Hamilton against the wall and also Sebastian came out and said, and it's pretty obvious, that he didn't even know where Lewis Hamilton was and he couldn't have because he was busy trying not to crash whilst going over the grass. So Vettel didn't even know where Hamilton was, so how could he have dangerously or deliberately put Lewis Hamilton near the wall or into the wall. He couldn't have. Yes, Sebastian Vettel cracked under pressure and bottled it. I agree. But you cannot say 
that he deliberately tried to block or crash Hamilton out in the Grand Prix. He did not. He didn't have the time to even see where Hamilton was. So for me, saying that Vettel tried to put Hamilton in the wall is just wrong because he absolutely did not. And his steering wheel action, for me, really does clear everything up on Vettel's side of things. And then, right after that, he then straightens the steering wheel and gets going again. Now, from Lewis Hamilton's on board, again, I think it does prove that Vettel, now that we know what Vettel was doing with his steering wheel, it kind of now does prove, when we move on to Hamilton's on board, that Vettel couldn't have done anything differently. Vettel couldn't have gone anywhere else. He couldn't have re-entered in a more safe way and couldn't have done anything differently at the time. So... He can see Lewis Hamilton turns into turn four and can see Vettel now going off the track. Now at this point, Hamilton can only go one place and that is on the racing line up against the wall on the exit of turn five because Vettel is too far to the inside for Hamilton to undercut through the corner for Hamilton to go that side of Vettel compared to the outside. And at this point, Vettel comes back onto track now again Vettel did turn right at this point where he came back onto track but that was because again he had grass on his tires and didn't have any grip and again he didn't even know where Lewis Hamilton was and as Lewis Hamilton is now alongside Sebastian Vettel now that we know again that at this point on Sebastian Vettel's steering wheel he was turning more to the left to go more left than he was at this point that does really put Vettel in the right in terms of this incident and why Vettel is not guilty for putting Hamilton off the track or nearly into the wall. And as we move on, yes, Sebastian Vettel does move more across, but again, he's trying to correct the car so he can go more so to the left to try and get his car back on track again. Vettel was not trying to put Hamilton in the wall. He didn't know where he was and he, I don't think he really cared at that point. He was trying not to crash at this point because he went across the grass. Now, at this point, yes, Hamilton is, you know, a bit alongside Sebastian Vettel. But another thing is I don't think Hamilton really has enough of his car alongside anyway to really complain about space here because he doesn't have for me enough of his car alongside but also this is not really an overtaking place i mean it's not like the hairpin the turn 10 hairpin or the the pit straight or the final chicane this is not a normal overtaking place so i don't think lewis hamilton even if vettel was trying to push him into the wall which he wasn't I don't think Hamilton really at this point deserves that much uh, space because I don't think in the same way I think Max Verstappen didn't deserve really any space from Lewis Hamilton in Monaco. I think the same here with Hamilton and Vettel. I don't think Hamilton deserved really any racing space here because he wasn't really in an overtaking position at this point and didn't have enough of his car alongside and also... If you look at Hamilton's front left wheel, it's basically grazing alongside the white line, if not slightly over the white line. So, yes, you could say factually Hamilton is off the track, but we're talking about mere centimetres. Mere centimetres, not pushing another driver completely off track or into a wall. We're talking about centimetres. And also, again... I keep repeating myself, but I have to, to illustrate why Vettel, for me, was completely correct in what he did. Vettel was trying not to crash, not trying to block Lewis Hamilton. And then after that, Hamilton settled in behind Vettel. And of course, we know what happened after that. Vettel got a penalty and Lewis Hamilton then went on to win the race. Now, for me, the decision to give Vettel a penalty was not correct and was disgraceful. It ruined the 2019 Canadian Grand Prix. And for me, it's really a sign that Formula 1 as a sport has really become soft. Because 
back in the day, that type of penalty would not have happened. There has been a lot worse incidents or driving from other drivers that have never been penalised before than what Vettel did to Hamilton. For example, Ayrton Senna never got a penalty for what he did to Alan Prost at Suzuka in 1990. And Senna deliberately took Prost out. But Vettel gets a five-second penalty for basically making a mistake. That's the only thing I can think of with this incident is that Sebastian Vettel has essentially got a penalty, a five-second penalty, because he went off the track, because there is nowhere Sebastian could go. It's a very tight piece of racetrack. Sebastian came on how any driver should and tried his best to get going again and didn't, for me, deliberately, knowingly, force another driver off the track. I just don't see how the FIA came to that decision. I honestly don't understand. And, you know, Liberty Media wonder why people are not watching Formula One as much as they used to. Well, it's because of things like this, because races get ruined because of stupid decisions by the FIA. It's happened before, and it is likely, of course, to happen again. We don't want to see this in our racing. What we wanted to see was a great, hard battle to the end of the race between Lewis Hamilton and Sebastian Vettel for the win of the 2019 Canadian Grand Prix. We didn't get that because the stewards wrongly punished Vettel for something that he couldn't really stop. Yes, he could have not made the error, but sometimes drivers make mistakes. You can't punish a driver for making a mistake like he did. I'm sorry, you cannot do that. And going back to the point of, you know, there's been worse incidents or crashes in the past. Remember back to Dijon in 1979, where Gilles Villeneuve and René Arnoux had that classic battle where they were banging wheels, going off the track. By the FIA standards today, if that happened today, both drivers would probably be banned from racing for one Grand Prix. And that battle goes down as one of the greatest battles in the history of not only Formula One, but motorsport. That is how out of touch the FIA is with the fans of Formula One. We want to see a great hard battle. We don't want to see penalties all the time, ruining racing and making the racing result a formality because at the end of that race, if we had had Vettel and Hamilton as close as they were, right at the end, going for the win, it would have been so, so exciting and everyone would have loved it. But they ruined it by making, for me, in my opinion, a stupid decision. But guys, that's my opinion on the incident. Make sure to let me know in the comments. What did you think of my opinion and what did you think of the incident? I just want to say... If you do have an opinion that is uh, disagreeing with me, that's absolutely fine. Make sure to comment down below why you disagree and please, please do it in a respective manner. If you're going to throw insults around, then just don't bother commenting because honestly, I don't want to deal with it. I can absolutely deal with people disagreeing with me, but don't throw insults around because again, it's just not the right way of doing things. But also, I just want to say thank you to you guys for the big weekend we've had as we've now hit 5,000 subs. So thank you guys very much for that. I really, really do appreciate it. And if you are new to the channel, then don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. And also like this video for more content like this. But guys, until my next video in a couple days time, it has been me, Chazer HD. Goodbye.